Hello everybody and welcome back to more Kingdoms of Amalur. As I promised, we are in the Domus Politica. And where is this bookshelf? Is it upstairs or...? Yes. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Oops, that one. Alright, the Domus Politica. What bounty is there in gifts that are not shared? How are we to know we are graced if none are there to grace us? Diplomacy has always been the way of my people, to bear treaties and words instead of swords. As we progress in the studies of magic and philosophy, should we not endeavor to share these gifts with races less, a, less, less apt and forwards thinking than us? And so I had them construct the Domus Politica, a place centered not on focusing our ingenuity inwards, but out. A home of scribes and letters where truces and compromises reign. The city was taking shape and our prosperity was already coming due. And with that, it became clear the need of a way to manage the trade and assets we had constructed here. And so, work began on the Grand Bursars. Fuck, I was just there. Ah, lots of running around. Ugh. That's nothing new for this game though, huh? I kind of hope this is the last one. I mean, five would be a pretty standard number to cut off yet. Cut off a yet. I don't know why my pronunciation was so weird there, but... Oh! Three coins. Sixth chapter. Right? Ugh. Ah, <sighs> the Grand Bursars. When I was an apprentice, my master gave me a piece of advice that I never forgot. He told me that the key to fostering the best of someone was to eliminate their needs. A mind cannot be brilliant if it is concerned for survival or burdened with worry. That is true. And so, to get the best out of Adessa's minds, I endeavored to create the institution that would see to their needs for the entirety of their lives, the Grand Bursars. It was to supply and manage all of the city's finances so that our scholars and Templars might not burden their great mind with such minutia. And like all things that my race has put its mind to, the Bursars has performed admirably. We were quickly seen by merchants as far as Rathir as a stable means of housing their investments, and our bankers were quick to revolutionize the financial structures previously employed by our society. And, with our needs seen to, I could see that the Bursars would only serve half of our needs, which led to the construction of the Arcadium. Entertainment? Ah, uh, this way. Have I even been to the Arcadium? It's right in the fucking needle. In the middle. Greetings. <laughs> I don't know what is up with my pronunciation right now. I'm saying really weird things in really weird ways. Oh, it's this building. I've been in here, haven't I? I go in. I'm too close to the door, apparently. Yeah, I've definitely been in here. Welcome. Seven. Okay, that has to be the last one. Seven. Ah, the Arcadium. Every city must have a market, and Odessa is no different. I thought I just automatically assumed, well, associated arcade as. <laughs> I don't know. Entertainment, but no, it means the market. 
But rather than something tawdry, dirty, and bustling, I vowed that, for the crafts we gnomes excel at, gem craft, potion work, book writing, we would house them in a building that befits their grace and honor. And so I was determined to make the Arcadium a house of trade without parallel, a home to all the grandeur you might find elsewhere in the city. Once these buildings were underway, I felt confident to begin working on the next jewel for this crown, the Basilica Nostra. Great. Now we gotta go to the aisles. Let this be the last one, please. Who are you? No one. Apparently an entertainer, because she seems to be very amused by him. What's needed? lovely buildings. Um... Oh, okay. For a second I thought it was... What? I don't think anyone can see me. 53? Are you... St There. I'm pretty sure the ceremonial daggers are like just fodder for selling. Okay. Wow, I just had to cut the recording twice there because Ugh. Sneezing. A lot. I've been sneezing... A lot lately. It just... Ugh. I guess it's a pollen? I don't know. I'm usually not allergic to pollen, though. Alright, the eighth chapter. Did I even read that one? I don't think I... Did... No. The Basilica Nostra. What can be said about the Basilica Nostra that would do it justice? I raised the walls and created the ceiling, sure enough, but the shell pales in comparison to its contents. It is the true culmination of efforts where we distill experiments. Is there? There's no E at the end of experiments. And crafts and labors and the theorems, laws and axioms. There's where the divine transformation from experience into knowledge truly occurs. Oh. Had another sneeze there. Okay, it is the portion of this city that I am proud of. That and the grandness of the forum. And now we're off to the forum. Great. Oh man. I can almost feel another sneeze coming on. This is going to be annoying to edit. Well, not annoying, but because I just don't know which what videos are the sneezy videos. <laughs> Um, I don't think this is the way. To go upstairs? Finally! Jeez. Chapter 8, The Forum. The forum would be the last of the building I would leave to my beloved city, and woe fills me for being too infirm to see it to its completion. You spelt completion wrong, too. Oh wait, no they didn't. I don't know why, but I saw the E and the L flipped. Okay, but here in time will be a center for all gnomes to have a voice, to hear the words of the just and kind Templars. There will be a central pin that holds the city together, its heart, its soul. 
I weep to think I will no longer sketch the plans and detail the stones that will form this city, but for you, dear reader, who has been fit to follow me throughout my journey in making this city, I leave a simple gift. There is a book hidden in the stacks of the Levarium, dedicated to those that wish to master the art of speech. Learn its teachings and use the skill to spread word of my marvelous city after I have passed. Oh, we're getting a persuasion book. But my persuasion is full! Are you kidding me? Hmm. What is it? I guess I should just save it in case I do a skill refunding thing later. Oh well, we're going to the Lavarium, so we might as well do the other quest there too. What? These people have a strange affinity for the word what. I guess it just reflects their inquisitive nature. There goes the phone. Someone pick it up, please. I said, please. Ah, <sighs> get the phone, someone. Yeah, book of persuasion. Thank you, God. Oh, wait, I can't read it without triggering it. Tisk. All right. Well, Asmer, he's just sitting in the corner here. Sure. Glad you decided to show. Can't say I wasn't antsy with all these squeal-headed gnomes staring me down crosswise. But let's be quick-like about this. Before you go into the vault, I've got to run you down on what's needed. What else is there? Grim learned that the gnomes enchanted the missives with a spell that lets them know its location at all times. Oh. Trilgaran came up with a solution. The Shroud of Omission. Cover the book in this shroud and the gnomes will forget it exists. Now, are you ready? This is a one-way trip. Once you're in, you'll have to find your own way out. Yeah, no problem. <clears throat> what are the missives of Sable anyways? Some old book. Don't look at me for what's in it. The value that those cursed scullions place in the missives is what concerns Grim and I. Okay. And um, what is a shroud of a mission? I don't know if Krilgarin made the bloody thing or stole it, but she said it's one of a kind. Place an object under the shroud and all the world forgets it existed. Seems useless, eh? But in the right moment, it's a damned waggish bedlam. Wait, 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 wait. What about the person who put the shroud of a mission on the book? Will they forget it too? Oh, whatever, I'm ready. Through this floor grate here. You'll have to do what you can to keep your bearings. It's a maze down there. Great. And be careful. They might be pint pots, but these gnomes will become vicious if they get wise to you. Ah, oh, great. Right, you better go. Be quick about it. I'll distract them. Let's do this. God damn it. Wait, where's the... Vault? Oh, Fomorous. Oh, right here. That's a p strange place to have a grate. Oh, man. These are giant rats. Some of them are sentries. Fuck. Keymaster. Uh... Ah, uh, I guess this is how they distinguish between... They made them all enemies, like, right away, so that I could use these. See, surrounding enemies. So, they're only affected to enemies, so I was wondering... Uh, since we're here, why don't we... Total health, mana pool, eh. 
Is there nothing for stealth? Like, seriously. <laughs> Maybe there was at some point, but I just didn't. Wow. Why do I have so many of those? Yeah, whatever. We're trying not to get caught, okay? So... Potions. Offensive potions will not be useful. I wonder what'll happen if I just go and kill them all. I don't want to see what's in these chests over there, though. Although there's some chests over here, too, but I will have to come back here. I know that much. Do -do -do. 